Cross vine is a plant that you won't find in most herb books. It's one of those herbs that we have in the South that's really a part of folklore, and it was actually more of a veterinary herb than anything. Back in the days when people plowed with horses and mules, they had a condition they called hidebound. And what that meant was that a horse or a mule was basically plowing every day, seven days a week, and it was just worn to pieces, worn out. So they would take cross vine and pipsisawa, mix them together, and feed it to the horse or the mule. The pipsisawa worked really well on the kidneys, and the cross vine worked on the kidneys, but it also acted as what we call now an adaptogen. And that meant it was sort of like ginseng and that after about three days of eating these leaves, the horse or the mule would be back up and working again and fit as a fiddle. And so my mentor, Tommy Bass, taught me that, you know, if it worked for horses and mules, it would work for people as well. And it actually does. You can make a tea out of the leaves, drink it for three days, and after three or four days, you realize you have more stamina, more energy. It doesn't give you a rush like a Coca-Cola will, but it does get you up and at them. And I've used it with cancer patients who had just a severe lack of energy. They were always tired. And this seemed to give them that boost to get up and move around again. It's wonderful for the kidneys. And the uh, Indians in the Southeast use it as a kidney tonic and as a liver tonic. And I've occasionally used it for the liver. You can take two leaves, boil them up as a tea, add a little sugar or honey to it, drink it every day as a hot or cold tea. And it actually tastes quite good. So give it a try and watch your energy levels actually increase in a way that you'll know there's no question to it that you feel better, you're more energetic, and you're ready to get out there and work harder.